Hi, this is Epic M Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get some awesome synths. Alright, some awesome sounding synths out of Zen at Sub Effects. Um, so, I'm going to make this from scratch, and this is just going to be an example of what the power of Zen at Sub Effects is. Um, I'm not going to base it off of anything except stuff I've heard before, I mean. But besides that, I'm just going to make a new synth. So, I'm using Add Synth instead of um, Sub Synth or, sub -synth or Pad Synth. Add synth is the default um, synthesizer in Zenad Sub Effects. Uh, of course, you can choose all three or any combination of the three. Um, but yeah, I'm just using add synth for this because it gives you the most control. Uh, you have six oscillators, no, eight oscillators. Um, it's pretty nice. Alright, anyways, so I'm gonna create this and I'm gonna use an. Stretch sign, abstract sign. All right, so I have that set up, and I don't like the sound of that. I'm going to use a power. These are always safe. Um, adaptive have harmonics, bass frequency. Now, keep in mind that synth making is um, all about hearing it. and kind of knowing what you want the synth to sound like. Alright, and so one effect I'm going to uh, do that's actually in the oscillators um, themselves, I'm going to take the um, first oscillator that I made and copy it twice, except I'm going to detune it so on this I'm going to have it mm, negative 7.44 second one's going to be at 0 third one is going to be at 7.44 so you get sort of a phaser effect um, that's because the the okay so this this one is at a lower frequency therefore it's slower by a tiny bit right? and this one is sort of in the middle and this one's faster so when you're playing them together all right, the slower one is going to take a little bit longer each time and that's going to add up and uh, make them out of sync um, so that so let's make, it, make it so the phase is out of sync on them so that's what you're hearing here with a like, like, yeah um, anyways, turn on unison, set it to 2. Um. And so, anyways, that's sounding okay. Let's play with the filters and stuff. I want the octave to be at one. Alright, and yes. Yeah, use the filter envelope like that and then a little bit more a little bit less alright and one trick that I've learned I don't know if this is necessarily good or not all right, is see the frequency LFO now if we adjust the depth on that you can see it's making it go like wah, 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 wah. I'm not good with the voice effects, but 
It's adjusting the frequency, it's changing it. Right? So you might think, well, that's going to sound bad in your um, synth. But, if we get a high frequency, it adds sort of a cool, cool, I guess, like, cool effect. So you can get some really uh, nice, well, interesting sounds going. And let's uh, adjust the amplitude envelope. I kind of want this to be a pluck, so. Alright, and so with that, we're not just, we're not even done yet. Let's actually give it some more tail. I'm going to call it tail. Um, let's give that 350. So that sounds okay. I'll just turn the depth down. Alright. And let's go to effects. And first we're going to add a chorus. That sort of gives it more body, makes it a bit fatter. Uh, distortion. I don't know with this synth, it might make it or break it. Uh, turn the drive down, way down. Now I'm going to leave the distortion out, just for now at least. And we're going to add reverb. Something we can add is delay or echo. We're going to adjust the reverb. Okay, maybe a bit much on the uh, echo and the. Wait, why am I doing that? On the echo and the reverb. Um, no, not. Don't want to bypass the chorus. Yeah. I don't think we need the uh, echo. And so I think that's uh, pretty good. All right, and then we can make this into a chord progression. Um, yeah. 
So you can see the potential of this. Um, Anyway, so you can see um, potential it has. You can even remove the uh, effects here. So you can see LFO. Also, change the bandwidth. Anyways, um, I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please suggest things that I should do, um, cause coming up with ideas for this stuff. I mean, it's better if I know what people want. Uh, first of all, cause then I can provide videos that people will like. Anyways, so thanks for watching. Goodbye.